Hey guys, I had enough uh, resin left over that I figured I might as well get another board out the way and do it today. Alright, so here we go. It's going to be white, copper, and brown, which is like one of my favorite colors to do. White, copper, and brown. So I'm mixing the white so far. Let me uh, make sure it goes through and there's enough white because I'm running out of white. Here's enough white. It's nice and kind of not see-through. You got to make sure it's not see-through your color. You want it to be kind of enough that uh, it's going to, you know, grab your background and make it exactly the white you want it to be. And as I do that one, I'm always going to keep looking at this one too that I finished earlier today, but that's the way I am. I just want to make sure it turns out beautiful for my girlfriend. Yeah, she's waiting on this table for quite a while now. Okay. That looks beautiful. All right, I'm going to start this one. And like I said, this is another resin pour on another... That one was a 22 inch, the table. This is a 20 inch. And I hope you like this one as well, okay? And not some, not, don't get so spoiled with my resin pour because I don't do a lot of them all the time. I don't have all the money to buy these things. It costs a lot of money, a lot of money for the resin. I'm just lucky that my husband is a big support and he helps me a whole lot. And sometimes my neighbors, too, they're kind of funny. They'll come over. They'll say, oh, I seen that, that Floatro thing you use. I bought you one. I say, oh, thank you. <laughs> so since the neighborhood is starting to notice that I'm painting, they're like bringing nice wood to me, donating, you know, stuff for my art. Mainly my resin and my acrylic art, so that's good. It's good to have neighbors like that, that they know you have a disability. And you're trying to do something with your life, besides just lay in the bed and watch TV all day. I don't want to do that. That's not me. I don't even like any of the shows on TV too much anymore. So anyway, like I said, thank you for the subscribers. Thank you for the likes. Very happy for that. And like I said, with these, just make sure they leveled. I always make sure this table is level. I make sure the board is leveled. And I won't start until I see that bubble show me on the leveler that is completely in the middle and that it is leveled. Okay, so know that about me. So I prepped this canvas last night. I gave it to two primers to make sure it sticks on so let's see it's pretty thick wood the inches around it on the you know the inches of depth I think it's about two inches deep yeah it's a yeah that's about an inch and a half I would say looks like an inch and a half I bought it a long time ago from Blix they also sell them on Amazon so could get them in these and Amazon as well. I'm gonna take off these gloves and I'm gonna give it a torch.
the next one I'm going to do is the copper color. Or maybe the brown. Let's see. I just love these colors together. They look so beautiful together. And I don't know if you'll notice in some of my tapes, you'll see that I have used these colors over and over again on my resin pores. Because I love the way the colors, eh, they come together. So, look how sparkly is that brown. That brown is from JR and it's called Chocolate Brown. This is like the third time I buy this one. You just take very little in your in your little you know your little stick and just stir it until it all mixes together well. Stir it for a while because you want to make sure that you get no lumps and that everything is nice and smooth. You see like that? That's a very smooth color, right? I like it. And now the copper. And just close the jars right away because you don't want the smell to stay and you know around you. It's a little kind of you can smell it. And it's not a bad smell, but it's just very intense. And this one is the copper. So I'm just digging some out of here because I'm almost finished with the copper. And uh Put it in there. Oh, come on. Mix well there, huh? I'll leave it there for a little bit. See what happens. And, uh, Get a little bit more white. Where's my white? Oh, sorry. I don't know if I have any more of those tiny cups. I don't. Well, I'm just going to pour it right in here. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see if I get any white out of here. <laughs> I'm out of white. Completely out of white. You could always scratch this. Scrape it and get it out. Oh, no wonder this thing is holding everything in. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't matter. I still don't have enough in there. Let me see if I get some on the stick. That's enough. Don't really need a lot to get white. <laughs> see, that was very little white. Oh, look. I got white. So... That is excellent. 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 Now with this one, it's going to be, I'm going to do like a, I'm going to do like a, what is it? What is it? An open cup pour. Because you know me, I like my open cup pours. Uh, I'm sorry, this is kind of dirty. I don't have too many cups anymore. So I'm going to use this one and pour the colors in there. Mm. And it never really slides, so you have to take your hand and slide the cup so you get your colors to marinate there. And as you notice, this time I didn't use black. The last time my black really took over, it made it all look awful, so I'd rather not use the black. Uh -huh. Let's see how pretty is that. Once I hit it with the gun, it'll, you know, go all around and look beautiful. So, so far in resin, I've done puddle pours with resin, or I've done open cup, and I've done, uh, what else have I done with the resin? Uh, oh, the three ring pour, that was a nice one. Uh, really, people wanted that one right away. See, at the same time that you're pushing your cup very slightly across, 
you are creating those cells so you don't have to kill yourself trying to make cells if you want cells in your painting that is uh, some people want them some people don't I do so here we go throw this in the garbage oh, I hate to throw away that cup because that's one of my good measuring cups but it's okay it's one of my little measuring cups I have to get more of these I like these little ones they're really good <coughs> Alright, so this is the rest of the white I'm using, and that is going to be it. No more colors needed for this board, right? It's a little beautiful. I hope you all learning my technique. I hope you all learn and do the same, or better. I don't care. That's why we are here. We're all brothers and sisters with one big happy pouring family. And I'm sorry I'm not on social media as much. I uh, have my... You know, I, I don't feel good all the time. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Depends on how I wake up. These brain aneurysms are crazy. <laughs> but I deal with them because I have them. They're like now my little brothers and sisters. All right, so I call them my little friends. That's what I call them. The doctor laughs. All right, here we go. waiting for it to get a little hotter. Don't forget to pull this out your bucket and you can always use your bucket again. Just trash that in the trash. colors aside. All the colors I use, remember, they're by JR. Except the little one is from uh, from Amazon. It's an epoxy type of uh, paint. And I am going to tilt this a little because I want it to be more centered. I, as you notice, it didn't move a lot because this is a solid wood. It's really like staying still. It's not wanting to move. Oh no, my phone. Who's calling me now? Polonia. I'll call her later. Apple. My little apple. Sorry. <coughs> My baby sister Polonia is always calling me. She's a little sweetheart. Always looking for her, her big sister. Uh, that's what sisters are for. Thank God I have six of them. Well, five. Six with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to tilt this a little because I want it to cover a little bit more on that side. But guys, this is heavy. <sighs> what a heavy piece of wood. Oh my goodness. True. Wait a minute. I'm going to put it down. Sheesh. It's heavy as heck. Oh man, it's heavy. Let me just put the cups all the way out, make sure they're holding in place. Oh, thank God these are not the flimsy cups. They would have been 
smashed already down. All right, I'm gonna kind of give it a little swipey to get some more to the edge. <coughs> I don't want it to stay off in the middle like that. Yeah. Thank God Erica showed me this. Erica and uh, Jeff from ATD. If it weren't for them, I wouldn't know that you could do this with the swipey. And make a little swipey in. Try to spread the paint more to the edge. I mean, you could just leave it and not spread it, but I want I want to spread out. It's just me. That's the way I am. So, do me for be me. Yeah. Okay. So you could just swivel. That's right too. Swivel and swivel and swivel. Yep. Swivel. And that's it. Okay, it's not a lot of color off, but it's something. You don't want to touch yourselves too much. You don't want to lose them. They look so gorgeous. <gasps> look how pretty that copper. Oh my god, I love the copper. It's so beautiful. Copper is such a gorgeous uh, color. You guys should use it more. I don't see a lot of people using the copper. It's just such a beautiful color. <coughs> Pores. It's very pretty. Copper. Mm -hmm. Let's see how beautiful that is. Just wanted to hit all the edges all around. Mm -hmm. Damn. Well, that one got a little boo boo in the middle. I see some eyes looking at me. Ooh, scary. <laughs> Don't look at it, guys. <laughs> Don't look at it for too long. Then you find all kinds of stuff on your painting. You're like, oh my goodness. That copper going so beautiful. Look at that. It almost looks like an orange. Like that old orange copper. You know, the old buildings and the old houses. So nice that some people preserve those coppers. You don't see them that much anymore. I'm gonna leave that like that and leave this like this. Or else should I do a little bit more? <coughs> I think I want to drag a little bit of this dark color this way. So that could be darker coming down this way. You could tell I like the copper, don't you? Mm -hmm. A little bit over here. Then you cut your papers lower if you want to make smaller holes. All right, these could all go in the garbage and recycle, like my husband says. Don't forget to recycle, Angela. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's the way we work in this house. You work together or you don't work at all. Yep. That's what makes a marriage last. We've been together 33 years. Yep. My son was only three years old when he met Michael. Alright. My little Maxie, you're around there. I hear you. You know, I told you I don't like you down here when I'm doing resin. As if the cat's going to talk and know what I'm talking about. <laughs> As if he's going to say, yeah, Mom, I know what you're talking about. Alright. Now, uh, I think this looks good. I'm not going to do anything else to it. I'm not going to torch it anymore. Because, you know, you over torch is not good for your painting, guys. So, you want to just torch very little. I'm just looking at the edges right now. Because that's my last thing that I always do. I look at the edges. Make sure the edges are fine. It. Don't don't smush it. Don't don't try to drag it around. Just tap 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 only. 
at the edges, just tap. You don't need to push anything down or anything around. Just, uh, like I said, just tap. And it'll stay just as beautiful as you want it to be. Yeah. This looks gorgeous. Man, I hope I don't get dimples on these because this is a real, real board. And I never really used a real, real wood board like this. This is a very thick board. Has me a little scared. Well, that's it, guys. I'm going to give you a close-up. That will be it for today. And I hope you're happy. I gave you two resins today. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Look at all those cells. See? That is the copper. Simple colors. Copper, brown, and white. You don't have to use black. There's no black in here. And actually, the black sometimes will spoil your painting, especially when you do the scraping. It makes it look muddy. You don't want it looking muddy. Look at all those cells, guys. It's just fantastic. So I will be putting a picture of this on my social media pages so you guys will see close up how it looks and how it turned out. Okay, love you all. Bye.